Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Everyday. Today I have a quick Google Chrome tutorial for you. We're gonna be showing you how to change your Google Chrome background image. They've got some in there that you can choose from or you can use your own custom image as your background. It's really quite simple to do. We'll also show you how to customize it with your own colors. Let's go ahead and dive right into Google Chrome. All right, so here we are on my Windows 11 desktop. Let's go ahead and load up Google Chrome so you can follow along. And once you've got Chrome loaded up, it's gonna look something like this. You've got your Google search here. You've got your shortcuts here. And we'll come back to shortcuts in just a moment. But in the very bottom right-hand corner, you can see it says customize Chrome right here. And you can go ahead and left click on that. Sometimes it's just the little pen icon. So it might not say customize Chrome. It might just be a little pen icon. Just go ahead and left click on that with your mouse. And it's gonna load up a page that looks something like this, where you've got different options on the left-hand side. So there's background, shortcuts, and color and theme. And I'm gonna go through these with you right now. So let's go ahead and start with background. So with background selected here, you'll see it says customize this page, and it's gonna give you a whole bunch of options for background images. Now, the first one here says upload from device. We'll get to that in a moment. We'll come back to that. But let's scroll through here. You can see it says Lat Latino artist collections, black artist collections, landscapes, textures, etc. And I'll let you scroll through this on your own. All the way down here, you've got cityscapes, geometric shapes, solid colors, seascapes, etc. So let's go ahead and maybe pick seascapes here at the bottom. And if you left click on that, it's gonna give you a whole bunch of options that you can change your background image to in Chrome. So you can scroll through here and when you find one you like, let's say we like this one, we can just go ahead and left click on it. And you can see it changes our whole background image in Chrome to that image. So when you go through here, if you don't like that one, you can select another one and it'll change it to that as well. Now, one of the cool things in here in the top right hand corner, it says refresh daily. And if you left click on that toggle switch, now every day you are gonna get a new background image in Chrome from the Seascapes area. So it's really cool when you find that one you like, you can just go ahead and hit done here. Now if we back out, I'm just gonna back up here. And again, you could do the exact same thing with any of these categories, Earth for example, if you wanted some planets or different things, you could easily change that as well. And again, refresh daily is right there. Now, if you did want to upload your own custom background image right here, it says upload from device. You can go ahead and left click on that and it's gonna allow you to search your computer for an image. So I'm gonna just go to my desktop here and I've got an image I set here of Niagara Falls. Let's go ahead and left click on that, hit open. And now it's gonna change our background image to my custom image that I took from Niagara Falls. So you can easily change it to your own personal image or to one that's already uploaded into Chrome. Now let's go back into those settings. So again, in the bottom right hand corner, now you can see it's just a small pen. It actually doesn't say customize Chrome any longer. Go ahead and left click on that pen. And we're gonna move right into colors and themes and we'll come back to shortcuts in a moment. So let's go ahead and left click on color and theme. And once you do that, you're gonna see there's all sorts of different colors here. You can actually do a custom color. You can select the default color for myself, that's gray and black. They've got tons to choose from here. So maybe you want kind of the darker midnight blue theme, you can select that. And you can see that the colors on the screen, especially up around the edges here do change. It, let me try something else that would be a little bit more obvious. We'll go with red here. And you can see that it changes to kind of a red color around the edge here. I think I'm gonna go with this blue one. That should look pretty nice with my background there. And again, you can hit done when you're all done with that. Now let's jump over to shortcuts here. This is a kind of a cool one as well. So if you left click on shortcuts, there's a few different options here. So um, I showed you the shortcuts at the beginning and right now it's set to my shortcuts. So we can have um, set our own custom websites that we visit there. We can also do most visited sites, which is really handy. If we select that, it would go to the most visited sites. We can, I'm gonna go back to my shortcuts, and then we could also do hide shortcuts. So if we don't wanna see those shortcuts down there, we can turn them off just like that, and now the shortcuts won't show up on our screen. Let me hit done here. You can see they're all gone. I am gonna turn them back on here. So we're just gonna turn them back on and I'm gonna leave it on my shortcuts and hit done. So you can see they're back here. But under my shortcuts here, there is an option to add 
shortcut right here. So we just go ahead and left click on that little add button and we can name it. Maybe we want it to be eBay. We can just type that in and we'd type in the URL here. So I'll do www.ebay.com and we'll just hit done and it should add eBay here to my shortcuts. And if I want to go to eBay, I would just left click on that and it'll take me right to eBay. So it's really that simple to customize and add shortcuts as well as to customize your background here in Google Chrome. So I hope this tutorial was able to help you customize Google Chrome. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media and subscribe here on YouTube. I'd love to have you join the Northern Viking community. Thank you so much for watching today and until next time, take care.